Deep in the basement of our old studios in East Fort Worth is a room that few people have ever seen. Until recently, it held our archives, including all of our film from the JFK assassination. We are about to take you there and show you what our photographers captured 50 years ago. Our guide is Gary Mack, a former Channel 5 employee who is now the curator of the Sixth Floor Museum. Down into the bowels of Channel 5. Down a steep flight of stairs and a dim concrete corridor is a door that leads deep into the past. And so here it is, room number eight. Yeah. After you, sir. And a mysterious squeaky door, too. Gary Mack has spent countless hours here. There's a history in this room that isn't in any history book. Preserved for decades against the odds. Most TV stations across the country threw out all their old news film. Channel 5 saved it all. Perhaps the most precious film of all fits into a few well-worn cardboard boxes. All the Kennedy footage is, is, is right over here. It starts with President Kennedy's triumphant trip to Texas. And then it chronicles his assassination. Jimmy Darnell rode in the motorcade, and as soon as the shots were fired, Jimmy jumped out and ran around and, and filmed what he could. He had no idea what had happened, though. That was the beginning of a frantic scramble to cover one of the most stunning stories of the TV era. The word came down, and engineers and I think a reporter jumped into the big remote van. They weren't little SUVs like, like we have today. It was a big, huge truck and started barreling to Dallas down what is now I-30, and they blew the engine. And the truck just coasted to the side of the road. The biggest story ever. And everybody's trapped inside the truck. The Channel 5 truck was towed to Dallas, where it played a critical role in our coverage. Much of the reporting was exclusive. Dan Owens was, uh, I think, the only television news photographer to film the rifle that was found inside the book depository being carried out of the building and off to police headquarters. There is Leon. But the key moment for Channel 5 shot. was getting the shooting of Lee Harvey Oswald live on camera. And Channel 5 signal went to NBC and out all across the country. The world has seen the work of our colleagues from November of 1963. Some of the Channel 5 footage turns up in documentaries all the time. And sometime in the future, historians will likely turn to it again. I can't tell you now what questions will be asked in the future, but I do know this. Channel 5's news coverage includes many items, many events that the other stations didn't capture on film. For that reason alone, it's crucial that this video information be saved. Lee Oswald has been shot. All of that material is safe. Over the years, the film clips have been converted first into videotape and now into a digital